Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Todd McClay. Uh, it's a pleasure to speak on this bill because I think it does an extremely important thing for New Zealand. It helps us meet our international obligations. You see, the bill ensures that New Zealand honours these international obligations to protect cultural property in situations of armed conflict. Uh, earlier in this debate, the Labour List MP Marion Street uh, made reference to uh, the legislation first having been brought up or introduced to the Parliament under Labour's watch of the country, under their government for a nine-year period, and she seemed quite concerned that not enough progress was made at that time. She also asked uh, you know, why progress had been made now, because she said this is an important bill. Well, I can say to Ms Street that there is only one reason. It's because the Minister for uh, Culture and Heritage, the Honourable Chris Finlayson, is probably the best Minister of Cultural and, and, uh, uh, Cultural and Heritage we have seen in this country, at least as long as I can remember, and probably as long as Mary Street can remember, which is much longer than I am, Mr. I could remember, Mr. Speaker. So I want to thank the, the Minister for his commitment, and Ms. Street ran out of time, but she too, I, I sensed, wanted to praise Minister Finlayson for his hard work and being able to do something in this House that Ms Street was so concerned that Labour hadn't quite got to when they ran out of time. And I want to thank Ms Street for those sentiments on behalf of the Minister. I know he has a lot of warmth for her. Can I say uh, that um, national uh, values the need to protect cultural significance, artefacts uh, throughout the world, particularly in areas of armed conflict? I, I want to uh, recognise also the last speaker in this debate from the Greens, who did say that uh, there were other areas that the Greens were concerned about. Well, this only deals with armed conflict, but some years ago, before I returned to New Zealand with my young family. I worked for a Greek member of the European Parliament who had been a Minister of Culture in Greece for many years from the island of Lesbos. And there was not a day that went by that he didn't raise the issue of the Elgin marbles with me. Not formally, of course. I didn't have the ability to do anything about this. But, but in Greece in uh, the uh, 19th century, Elgin marbles were removed and taken off to uh, the United Kingdom, where so many, very many people have a chance to see them there. But I do recognise that there are other co uh, issues around culture. Uh, and I want to recognise that uh, uh, Catherine Delahunty did say that the Greens were concerned about history. Some would say rewriting it, but I won't because this is a very reasonable debate at the moment. Well, I did say it, but uh, there you are. But what I would say, Mr Speaker, is it's good to see the House joining together on an issue like this. Uh, this shows that the work we are doing to preserve and support culture internationally as well as domestically uh, is uh, very well supported, and I thank all parties of the House for uh, joining with the National Government in doing something that Mrs Street was so concerned Labour wasn't able to over nine years. Thank you. Richard Prosser. Thank you, Mr Speaker. I'm pleased to rise to take a... Uh...